After years of state oversight, Youngstown schools taking the first steps towards regaining local control with an academic improvement plan. But with a long lackluster history, will the school system simply revert back to its old ways? Connor Stephan has been asking that question all day today. He joins us now live. Good evening, Stephan. Connor. Derek, it's right behind me that the Youngstown City School Board plans to gather public input to create that plan. Now, this is the first of three community meetings slated for August, and it is just now underway. Youngstown schools are eyeing a return to local control after being under the discretion of the state since 2016. We need to really take this serious. For the sake of the, the children in Youngstown and our city. To do so, the district must develop a three-year improvement plan. I spoke with a few involved on their ideas for revamping the school system. That's what I'm going to push to the board. School board member Jackie Adair tells me refinement begins with a strong focus on academics. She's suggesting a year-round schooling concept. You get your Christmas break and your spring break, but you don't get the whole summer off. And so hopefully that model, we can introduce that here in Youngstown. State Representative Michelle Lepore-Hagan has a different approach in mind, including the implementation of wraparound services. Where school buildings are open throughout the day and, and throughout the weekend and into the evening. But even before 2016, when Ohio took over Youngstown schools, the state education department deemed it a failing system, which is why I asked those involved in this next process, what will be different this time? I think once it was taken away, we realized that if given this chance like we have now, we're not going to mess up. There will also be accountability at the state level. In order to regain local control, Youngstown Schools Improvement Plan will need approved by the state superintendent. Along with Tuesday's meeting, the school board has two other dates slated for public input, August 17th and 31st. With more local news, I'm Connor Steffen.